Hello everyone, my name is Shreen and we have another Dauntless Shattered Isles dev vlog to look at. Big shout out to Dragon Lawn for letting me know about this one. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Shattered Isles dev vlog The Hunt. Hey Slayers, welcome to the 8th instalment of our Shattered Isles dev vlog. Today we share more details on the goals for the hunting grounds, our new public events and more for legend hunts. Let us hunt to each their own. Oh, I love that artwork. Wow. That's crazy. It looks like um, Iron Falls with the waterfall. Early in our development, we mentioned that a new game mode could potentially replace the hunting grounds as part of the Shattered Isles update. While a game mode similar to Pursuits was received positively by our community, we got a strong pushback on the possibility of replacing the hunting grounds. We embraced this feedback and decided to make both work together. And for that, we had to find specific goals for each of them on Dauntless. Yes, as um, myself and Dragon Law said, it would ruin Dauntless if they took away the hunting grounds. So I'm very glad they took that on board and decided to do both instead. So here we go, <laughs> beloved hunting grounds indeed. I always forget the name of that hunting grounds. The hunting grounds will continue as the first game mode Slayer's experience in Dauntless, with the main quest guiding new Slayers through their first leveling experience and presenting the recommended islands for their weapon level. We expect players of any level to be able to choose to hunt where they can leverage their loadout's elemental advantages. Islands for each Aether element will be available at all levels to support that choice. Yes, good, alright, good. Elemental advantages and each, each Aether element. Say that one three times fast. Um, <laughs> the dangers of Aether or Aether. I think it's Aether, right? I think you pronounce it Aether. On the Shattered Isles... We are introducing the choice between hunting on islands with normal levels or ether or the challenging ether surge versions of those islands. Okay. Ether surge islands will draw powerful behemoths populating the island with challenging encounters. Okay. At the release of the Shattered Isles, the hunting grounds will have 16 islands available for slayers. For a total of 32 options of hunts to choose between their normal and ether charge versions. Ah. Oh. So each island will have two versions. Okay. The Bladesworks, for example, will be recommended for slayers with weapons from level 20 to level 50. And its Ether Surge version is for slayers with weapons at least level 50. Okay. Aether Surge version of Underworld File, Cold Runner Key, Cape Fury, that's the one, Cape Fury, Twilight Sanctuary, and the Paradox Breaks will join the Bladesworks as the items recommended for experienced slayers. Oh, okay. Cool. Expect some stronger than usual behaviors on those Aether Surge islands. Interesting. Slaying together, the hunting grounds are always better when you experience with other slayers, 100%. And to incentivize that, we are working, we are reworking our island events to bring players together to collaborate in public time quests with shared progress and progressive reward. Ooh, our public events. Yes, this is literally what I said. I said in one of my videos, I was like, I really miss the community based events. Like, I miss that stuff, like the one we had with the Void Runners and the um the move to new rams getting that's something i missed that this is amazing <laughs> public events will start at predictable times tied to real life clocks and once per hour for each island examples blaze work the event starts every hour at x minutes twilight sanctuary okay so every like 20 40 minutes okay so you could basically go from each island maybe as well so like by time the blaze works event finishes you can hop over to, to um, Twilight Sanctuary and then get that event and then hop over to Braidsworks and get that event. Okay, I can see a lot of people farming that one. <laughs> the map will clearly show public events to help players get to the right place at the right time. Let us dive into one example of a public event. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay. Event. The Unseen Cult is trying to corrupt an island's ether. Help Granny Steger collect ingredients from an antidote to shatter the plants. Okay. So this is like the one... Oh, I can't remember what it is. I think it's... The mushrooms, right? I think there's already an event or a type of event in Dauntless where you actually connect mushrooms for Granny Stranger. Phase 1, 50 minutes to complete. Granny lands on the island and sets her cauldron down. She asks Layers to bring her 20 spore samples that grow in the environment. Uh, phase 2, the unseen attacks wave of fallen spawn 
Close to Strange's Cauldron and Slayers need to protect Granny before they disrupt the brewing. Phase 3. The antidote needs an extra ingredient. Granny asks Slayers to defeat a higher level kosh uh, Koshai for their flora pods. Phase 4. It's time to stop the corruption from spreading. Gra Granny charges Slayers lanterns with one dose on the antidote and asks them to clear all 10 corrupted sites across the island. Come back for additional doses. Phase 5. The corruption spread is contained, but one earth shaped fenrir got infected. Granny asks Slayers to defeat it before it gets too far. Okay. Oh, I think I, I need to see this in like a video type thing or just pictures. So I think it is similar to the events that are already in the game. But I need to see like a run through of it. Maybe they have a video on here, I don't know. Uh, but the text is, I mean, it's good. It sounds good, but I need to see it in action to actually analyze it better. Slayers can join the public event at the beginning or during an event phase. Their progress will count towards the event and help advance it to the next phase. Rewards are progressive. Completing two phases get better rewards and clean. Okay, cool. All right, that makes sense. In the example above, let's say that Slayers were able to complete the event until Phase 4 but failed to beat Phase 5 Earth Shadow Fenrir in time. If a Slayer joined at the beginning of the public event, they would receive Tier 4 reward, but if they joined on the Phase 4, they would receive... Okay, yeah, that makes complete sense. Yep, makes complete sense. I think it's already like that for the, um, the actual events on the Hunting Grounds, right? Like, if you join later on, you don't get all the rewards. rewards. But if you were there the whole time, you get the maximum kind of rewards. Okay. And obviously with guilds as well. You know, go around with your guild. Now that um, guilds will actually have implementation into this update. I hope they do something with that as well. And maybe like a competition between guilds with the public events. That would be kind of cool. The Shattered Isles move forward. One of our goals for public events is to keep the story of the Shattered Isles moving forward. With the behemoths having ties to some event quests and being the final menace of at the last phase of the event. Okay. Car what is that? Carcanos, also known as codename Crudge, it has a no it has a new name. Carcanos. Carcanos? What does that mean? Codename Crudge will require slayers to band together to be defeated. For now, all we can say is that Carcanos is very mad at some Ori miners. Ori miners. I'm trying to remember who who's the Ori miners. Okay, co car co mm. <laughs> did not expect that. They always like throw that stuff in. They just throw like random stuff in there. Okay, menace of the legend. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's like a pango like fell into lava and like look at that. That is crazy. Look at the like the armor on it. That thing looks mean. It looks angry. Like. No, that's not. I say Pango. That's not Pango. It's Hellion. <laughs> it's like an armored Hellion. It's a demon ar armored Hellion. Wow. Okay. Raging Doomwake, <laughs> the Charred Tyrant. Yeah. While the hunting grounds will embrace new slayers and guide them through their journey of improving their gear, Legend Hunt will be an end game mode for experienced slayers where they can choose specific legend to pursue each time they embark on a hunt. Okay. So it's basically like a high level um, pursuits thing. As we mentioned earlier, Legends will be the hardest version of those behemoths, requiring both appropriate gear and mastery of their movements. Okay. Yeah. Cool. There and back again. After years as an old friend, Gael, gosh, how do you pronounce that name? Gaius Copperwheel returned to Ramsgate with maps containing the location of Legends and is willing to trade them for a cost. As an experienced cartographer, Gaius guarantees that his maps are precise with the location of the legends, but he does not guarantee the condition of those behemoth lairs. Okay. Stuff of legends. Legend behemoths are a secret to unlocking the ultimate power of the new weapons. Ah, with the last unlock of each talent line requiring slaves to provide specific parts from those behemoths that are very drawn to Aetherite. Might find some nurse there. Slayer. Wow, okay. So we've got a <laughs> we've got new legend behemoths. We've got a new NPC that will be returning to Realm's Gate. Um, I don't th I don't recognise this name, Gaius Copperwheels. If you were playing Dauntless like, back in the day, do you recognise that name? Um, if so, what did they look like? Um, do you think they will be redesigned maybe as well? I don't really know if there's a space left <laughs> to add him in Realm's Gate. I mean, Realm's Gate is, is pretty packed, so I don't know where they would put him. I mean, I guess there is like shops near the middleman and like behind 
the middleman area. Uh, but yeah, wow, okay, I think that's it. So there's a lot to unpack in this one, but I'm happy with it. Again, I think there's a lot in this blog that needs to be seen visually. Like, I want to see Gaius Copper, uh, what was his name, Copperhead? Um, <laughs> Gaius <laughs> a Copper Wheel. I want to see a picture of him. I want to see a video of this event. Um, it's kind of hard to see it right now, but they do remind me of the events that are already in though um, Dauntless, I don't remember what those events are even for. Like, I remember when Granny Stranger was added to the game, they made specific events for, I think it was like Agoras, there was one, I think Agoras, the Fenroar, and the um, Mushroom Skarn, was it? No, the Mushroom Charog had events. Um, but I haven't had I haven't played those in a while, so it's gonna be interesting to see if those are exactly the same. I mean, they sound exactly the same. Because uh, I think in those events you go around, you collect mushrooms, you give the mushrooms to Granny Estrella, and I think those were back back in the day when you would make the the um, poison potions. I think I'll have to check. But yeah, I want public events. Like I literally said, like I love that Void Runner and the Void event. Um, it was a few years ago now, I think it was like three years ago they did that event. The big event leading up to the move to New Ramsgate, the, the, they did the whole lore thing, the whole story about why we were moving there. So yeah, I think that's the main thing I'm looking forward to, and the legend hunts. I'll probably get absolutely destroyed in legend hunts, but I can't wait, dude. And if they can implement this somehow with like the guilds and the guild um, gifts and stuff like that, I think it will be absolutely amazing. But as always, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please check out the live stream that I did with Dragon Lore, discussing everything we know so far about the Dauntless Shattered Isles update. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.